Hey guys, in this video, I detail a subject that I believe every EMT and medic student struggles to understand, and that is the rule of nines. So let's get started. Whether you are dealing with a simple sunburn or a more severe burn, it may be extremely tricky to treat, let alone evaluate accurately. Data shows that medical providers of all backgrounds under and overestimate the total body surface area of burns quite frequently as we will get into that later in this video. For now, the best model we have to work with is the Wallace Rule of Nines, better known just simply as the Rule of Nines. The Rule of Nines is designed to estimate the total body surface area that has been affected by second and third degree burns. You can use the Rule of Nines for first degree burns, but I did not find sufficient evidence to point that the Rule of Nines should be used for first degree burns. These body surface area calculations will help you in performing the proper maintenance infusion of normal saline per the Parkland formula for your burn patient. Remember that your patient will experience major fluid loss after suffering second and third degree burns. Don't get nervous, I will be doing a separate video on the Parkland formula in the near future. Now let's jump on over to the computer and draw out the rule of nines for the adult pediatric and infant patients. All right, guys, so let's look at the adult version of the rule of nines. Okay, so the head is 4.5% for each the front and the back of the head. So the front is 4.5, the back is 4.5, the entire head is gonna be 9% total. Moving on to the torso, you have 18% each front and back. So 18% on the front of the torso, 18% on the back for a total of 36%. The arms, the front of the arms is 4.5%. The back of the arms is 4.5%. One entire arm is going to be 9% and both arms is going to equal 18%. The groin, whether it be a male or a female is 1%. Uh, and then the legs are 9% for the front 9% for the back, 18% per leg, and 36% when you do both legs. So when you add all this up together, 9 plus 36 plus 18 plus 1 plus 36 equals 100%. So moving on to the pediatric. Now, the caveat here with the pediatric slide is I made the calculations for a 5 to 9 year old. There are alterations for a 1 to 4 and a 10 to 14 year old, I'm going to present those as uh, just individual slides that I'm going to put in the comments of the video. Um, so you'll be able to find them there and study them. I chose not to put them in the video, first off to keep the video short, and I felt like most burns in the pediatric population happen with the five to nine year old age group. So this is the these are the kids that you're gonna be working with uh, for the most point. So the head, 7.5% for the front, 7.5% for the back, totaling 15% for the total head. The torso, 16% for the front, 16% for the back, 32% total for the torso. The arms, 4.75% for the front and 4.75% for the back of each arm. That's 9.5% for the total per arm. If you calculate both arms together, it's 19%. The legs, 8.5% front, 8.5% back of each leg. Uh, there is a total, if you calculate the entire uh, front and back of the leg, it is 17%. And both legs together is 34%. When you add these together, 15 plus 32 plus 19 plus 34, it equals 100%. Now, lastly, uh, moving on to the infant rule of nines, the infant rule of nines, the head uh, is 10.5% on the front, 10.5% on the back. The entire head is going to be 21%. The torso, 13% front, 13% back for a total of 26%. Moving on to the arms, you have 5% on the front, 5% on the back of each arm. The entire arm is 10%. Both arms is going to be 20%. The groin is 1% and 
and we add the buttocks. That's where this red arrow is pointing. We add the buttocks on an infant and the buttocks itself is going to be 5%. Uh, the legs for an infant is going to be 6.75% for the front, 675 for the back, uh, totaling one leg 13.5% and both legs being 27%. So if you add up all those, 21 plus 26 plus 20 plus 1 plus 5 plus 27, you get 100%. While researching this topic, I found that there is a growing concern among clinicians of the accuracy of the rule of nines pertaining to the obese and pediatric populations. The rule of nines can best be used in patients greater than 10 kilograms and less than 80 kilograms if defined by BMI, or body mass index, as less than obese. For those infant and obese patients, special considerations need to be taken. In your obese patients, you must tweak the rule of nines percentages. The total body surface area of the trunk has a closer approximation to 50%. 15% for each leg, 7% for each arm, and 6% for the head. Android-shaped obese patients who distribute their adipose tissue in their abdomen, chest, shoulders, and the nape of the neck have a torso that is closer to 53%, whereas gynecoid-shaped patients who distribute their adipose tissue in the lower abdomen, pelvis, and thighs have a torso that is closer to 48%. In infants that weigh less than 10 kilograms, the rule of eights makes better approximations. This rule dictates approximately 32% total body surface area for the patient's trunk, 20% for the head, 16% for each leg, and 8% for each arm. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.